Hello and welcome back to my let's play of Persona 5 New Game Plus and we are here on the 11th of April and it's time to really start getting going with this game. Uh, this is the first day that we're going to get some combat, the first day that the story really starts kicking into gear. Um, and you can tell by the length of this episode that a lot is going to happen, so let's get on with it. Um, this first little section in the morning is primarily um, quite a nice way of sort of getting you um, situated in the game, making sure that you understand where the locations are. So we're currently in um, the back streets of Yongin Jaya. We're going to be able to take the subway um, across to Shibuya. We'll do a bit of exploring around Shibuya Station, and there's a neat little thing in the game where they um, lock certain areas of Shibuya Station away, so you actually have to really get your head around where you are. Admittedly, I still struggle a lot of the time with actually knowing exactly where things are in that um, in Shibuya, but there we go. Um, and then um, from Shibuya we make her all the way over to the school, which is like the second, the third major hub after Shibuya and Yongin Jaya. Shibuya. Um, Shibuya. There's a lot. So yeah, it's a. So as always with exploring new areas, I'm going to be uh, looking around for interactions with uh, the environment a lot during this early section. Which means lots of running into walls and stuff like that. It's sort of small trips, so... And that's why I get this chance to talk. And there's a notification that obviously shouldn't be there, but um, I probably don't change it throughout the entirety of the episode, so... Uh, just ignore the notifications up there. And in the early episodes of this playthrough, I forgot to silence them, so they end up. But anyway, uh, the other nice thing about these sort of things is that you get um, a lot of the extra flavor text is hidden within these areas, and it's always good to explore them. Um, I think it's quite a pity because ultimately, once you get later on in the game, there's a strong emphasis on fast travel. You can fast travel between most of the important areas, and hell, you can fast travel easily between sub areas of those areas. Um, and that leads to, um, you know, it, it means that you don't often end up walking around and just exploring the areas a lot. And that's actually pretty worthwhile doing, just because a lot of these areas have a lot of nice little um, parts to them. Uh, go sort of rumbling underneath the great surface. With a lot of the NPCs, a lot of the sort of people just wandering around, chatting about things. Um, and as they're talking about what's going on, uh, you know, maybe in reference to story events or other things like that, it really builds up the, um, the ta you know, the city of Tokyo, these areas of it, um, have this living, breathing idea, which is quite nice. I'm also exploring here, it turned out, I wanted to see how limited we are, it turns out we are pretty limited in where we can go, which makes a lot of sense. But a lot of these extra things that you can see I'm interacting with that, you know, the game is just like, we'll talk we'll do it later. Exactly, we'll do it later. Um, and so all of that is yet to come. Uh, but yeah, so, you know, we're really finding the first main two um, subway lines that we use throughout the game. And we can use those freely. Later we'll unlock a lot more locations through the game. But those will be locked behind small costs, um, and they shouldn't be too much of an issue. Um, I'm planning on finding a way to make money really not an issue throughout the entirety of this playthrough. Um, that just require, you know, I just need to make sure that I know exactly what I'm doing here. So we finally arrived at the Ginza Line Gate here, or at least we're coming up to the Ginza Line Gate. Um, 
So this is where we make our transfer uh, to the school, which we've obviously visited once in the cutscene, but now we'll actually get to explore it. Um, so yeah, I'm looking... Uh, so after this is going to be a long sequence of pretty story-based stuff. Um, and so with that in mind, I'm going to shut up and let the story stuff roll. And in the meantime, you know, obviously enjoy the scenes as they run through. And um, I will catch you back when the game relinquishes control and we can actually um, talk a little bit about the combat uh, and do some stuff with that. So I hope you have a... Yeah. So I will see you later on. <laughs> Oh, man. Did it say it was going to rain today? Huh? It's raining outside? It just started all of a sudden. This is why I hate the early spring. That reminds me. Did he take an umbrella? Hmm? Who are you talking about? <laughs> Don't mind me. So, what'll it be? One house blend, please. The effects of yesterday's subway accident continues on today, as various lines suffer delays and... There's been a lot of nasty accidents lately. You know, I mean the subway accident that the news is talking about. My coworker got caught up in it and is in the hospital now. But that aside, it's kind of creepy. The people who caused these accidents supposedly went crazy all of a sudden. I heard that some of them suffered from nervous breakdowns during interrogation. Huh. Morning. You want me to give you a ride to school? You're gonna be late. Um, sure. Thank you. Do you need a lift too? Huh? Nah. Uh. Damn it! Screw that perfect teacher. Perfect teacher? Huh? What do you want? You planning on ratting me out to Kamashita? Huh? In that car just now, it was Kamoshida. He does whatever the hell he wants. Who does he think he is, the king of a castle? Don't you agree? Uh, it's just a saying. Hmm? Wait, you don't know Kamoshida? <laughs> you for real? You're from Shujin, right? What? No other high school's got a uniform like this. Huh. 
A second year, huh? We're the same grade then. Never seen you before, though. Oh, you a transfer student? <laughs> then no wonder you don't know him. This rain ain't too bad. We better hurry up or we'll be late. Ah. Oh, my head hurts. Damn it. I want to go home. There was a terrible subway accident that day. You remember it, don't you? I assume you know of the uproar that the public calls the psychotic breakdown incidents. You say that like it's none of your business. It was all over the news, and one of the victims included a teacher at your high school. I've no doubt you heard about it. On that day, were you still an ordinary student? Let me change the question. You transferred to Shujin Academy, correct? An ordinary prep school that could be found in any city. That's what it should have been. What happened around that time? Tell me everything, truthfully. Weird. Where's the school? It should be. It said Shujin on the gate. What's going on here? Out of service? Where'd we end up? The sign was for the school, right? Right? You saw it too! Jeez, you freaked me out. Who are you? You a student? Man, your costume's impressive. Is that armor real? Come on, don't just stand there, say something. Hey, what's going on? You really think so? This shit's real. C calm down, T time out, man. We gotta run! Yeah, we better not mess with him. Go! Yeah. What's with these guys? You're gonna break my bones, damn it! The hell you think you're yeah! Take them away! Hey. Hey, hey. hey, hey, wake up! Hey, hey, hey. 
You all right? I see. Looks like this ain't no dream. Gah! What's going on? Hey! Let us out of here! I know there's someone out there! Damn it! Where are we? Is this some kind of TV set? What was that just now? Whoa, 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 whoa! You're shitting me, right? Come on, man. Hey. that your punishment has been decided upon. Your charge is unlawful entry. Thus, you will be sentenced to death. Say what? No one's allowed to do as they please in my castle. Huh? Wait. Is that you, Kamoshida? I thought it was some petty thief, but to think it'd be you, Sakamoto. Are you trying to disobey me again? It looks like you haven't learned your lesson at all, huh? And you brought a friend this time. Because you can't do anything for yourself. This ain't funny, you asshole! Is that how you speak to a king? It seems you don't understand the position you're in at all. Not only did you sneak into my castle, you committed the crime of insulting me, the king! The punishment for that is death. It's time for an execution! Take him out! Stop it! God damn it! I ain't down for this shit! Come on, we're out of here! Just go! Get out of here! These guys are serious! Oh! Running away, are we? What a heartless friend you are. He ain't a friend. Come on, hurry up and go! What's the matter? Too scared to run away? <laughs> Pathetic scum isn't worth my time. I'll focus on this one's execution. Take this! Lowly scum! You so fast! Where'd your energy from earlier go? A peasant like you isn't worth beating. I'll have you killed right now. Hmm. What? Don't you dare tell me you don't know who I am. That look in your eyes irritates me. Hold him there. After the peasant, it's his turn to die. No, I don't want to die! <laughs> this is truly an unjust game. Your chances of winning are almost none. But if my voice is reaching you, there may yet be a possibility open to you. What's the matter? Are you simply going to watch? Are you forsaking him to save yourself? Death awaits him if you do nothing. Was your previous decision a mistake then?
willing to perform all sacrilegious acts for thine own justice. Call upon my name and release thy rage. Show the strength of thy will to ascertain all on thy own. Though thou be chained to hell itself. Execute him. What was that? <laughs> You desire to be killed that much? Fine. Consider granting you the power to break through this crisis. Hmm. Very well. Who the hell are you? Guard! Start by killing that one! You'll learn the true strength of my men! Change that animosity into power, and unleash it! Persona! There! Swing your blade! Kill them however you want. Run wild to your heart's content. Persona! I leveled up. Just now. You little! <laughs> you like that, you son of a bitch? Y you mean this? Okay, it's locked. Damn you! Hey, what was that just now? And your clothes? Whoa! It went back to normal! You bastards! God, this is effing nuts! Anyways, let's scram. You lead the way. Goddamn thieves! 
After them! Don't let them escape! And we are back after all of that story, all of the interesting developments that have happened within the story. That? We are now here uh, within right. um, this mysterious castle, um, which we will find out later on is an example of a hey. palace. And palaces are going to be the vast majority of the gameplay sections mm -hmm. of, you know, the true, I think, true, the combat. Um, if that's what you feel the main gameplay of these sort of games are. And we can talk a little bit about the combat now. Uh, it's obviously turn-based, um, with a bunch of sort of the usual sort of elemental uh, weaknesses and strengths. Um, they're all given quite interesting names, um, which I was, um, you know, it took me a little while to get used to, but in the end it's quite nice not to be casting the usual sort of fire, fire, blizzard, uh, thunder spells that you see in a lot of JRPGs. No way, so instead man. we get um, Aji, uh, Bufu, and Zeo for those particular three elements. Um, so yeah, so we have a turn-based element which introduces a lot of different things. Indeed, a lot of the early sections of this game and the early combat sections of this game are largely hey. built around tutorialising the hell out of this game's combat system and stuff like that. So we've got all of that to look forward to as you know we stretch on and this uh, playthrough continues through April and you know, um, I've noticed that that notification is blocking some text, which is very frustrating and will do well I'm, you know do my utmost to ensure that it doesn't happen in the future. So. So I guess another thing that we can say is that we received our first persona in Arsene, who is um, obviously yeah, getting a first persona is obviously a big deal in a persona game. Um, and when we have more time and there are more um, things going on with regards to personas and we have more combat, uh, I'll talk more about the combat set, you know, up my plans with this playthrough because it's what's really going to um, make this a bit more unique than other playthroughs of the game that you can find, just in terms of exactly what I want to do with the personas and the compendium and that sort of stuff, but we'll talk about that a lot later. In the meantime, we're coming up to another set of story notes, so I will leave the game to it and we'll talk when we're back at the school. What is this thing? You're not soldiers of this castle, right? Get me out of here! Look, the key's right there! We're trying to get the hell out of here. I mean, you obviously look like an enemy too. I'm locked up here, so how can I be your enemy? Help me out! I am not a cat! Say that again and I'll make you regret it! They're catching up already! Still no service. Ain't there any way to contact someone outside? How the hell do we get out? Hey, you too! Wanna know where the exit is? Let me out, and I'll take you there. You don't want to get caught and executed, right? I never go back on my word. This thing sounds like it's all talk. If you guys think you can get out on your own, then be my guest. What do we do? Are you seriously not messing with us? If you don't hurry, they'll catch you. <laughs> Fine. Uh, uh, freedom tastes so great. Now where's the exit, you monster cat? Don't call me a cat. I am Morgana. Shut up and hurry it up. You want to be locked up again? Oh, all right. Sheesh. Follow me, and stay quiet. Jeez. 
Jeez. Shadows. They've taken up intercept positions. It means they're holding nothing back and are serious to kill us. I'll back you up. So fight like your life depends on it. Let's go! Persona! Go down! <laughs> I knew you were an amateur. This is how you fight! Strike at an enemy's weakness to knock them down. Use that opening to strike again! That's the most basic of basics. Remember it well! Come on, let's hurry and get through this! Sona! Power courses through me. Okay. Another tool for our mission. Man. What did you say?
Persona! Ravage them! Persona! Go down! We're here. Oh, finally, we're saved. It's not opening. Did you trick us, you jerk? Don't jump to conclusions. Over here. Hey, wait up. Where are we supposed to get out from here? There aren't even any windows. Oh, amateur. This is the most basic of basics. That's right! As I thought, you're a natural at this. It leads all the way outside. I see. Then we just gotta get that metallic mesh off. And a one, and a... Ah! Oh, crap. The enemy didn't hear us, did they? Seriously, we're finally getting out of here! You should wait on celebrating until you actually get out. Now get going! But what about you? There's something that I still have to do. We're going our separate ways. <laughs> you better be careful too. See ya. Those two seem useful, especially the frizzy-haired one, if my judgment's right. <sighs> Did we make it? You have returned to the real world. Welcome back. Huh? Return? Does that mean we got away? <laughs> I don't know what to think anymore. What was all that anyways? That castle and, and Kamoshida and that weird cat? What the hell's going on? What's with the yelling? Are you students of Shujin? Cutting classes, are we? Huh? No. We were trying to get to school and we ended up at this weird castle. <sighs> what? Oh, hand over your bag. You better not be doing any drugs. Why would you think that? Are you his friend? Then you should go to school. Take him with you. Like I'm trying to say, I don't know what's going on either. We passed by Shujin on our way here. There was nothing out of the ordinary about it. If you spout any more nonsense, I'll contact your school. Is that what you want? Come on, say something! That's not what I meant. W wait a sec! Is that guy for real? Fine, I'm going! A Minister of Transport announcing his resignation. <laughs> Things are going as planned. Sai Nijima. That reminds me. <sighs> Better to leave it be for now. Is this for real? 
I'm sure we came the same way. I, what's going on here? That's exactly what I wanted to ask you. We received a call from the police. The damn cops snitched on us after all. Hmm. It's rare not to see you alone. Where were you roaming around until this time? Uh... A, ca a castle? So you have no intention of giving an honest answer. What's this about a castle? <laughs> Kamoshida? You seem so carefree, Sakamoto. Quite a difference from when you did morning practice for the track team. Shut up! It's your fault that it... How dare you speak that way to Mr. Kamoshida? <sighs> There's not much leeway left for you, you know? He's the one that provoked me! Do you really want to be expelled? In any case, you'll have to explain yourself. Follow me. What? This is bullshit! Come now. I should have been more considerate, too. Let's just say that we were both to blame. Well, if you say so. Still, you're coming with me. It's undeniable that you're extremely late. Fine. By the way, you're that new transfer student, correct? Have we met somewhere? That's right. I remember now. Well, I'll overlook this just for today. I'm sure you've heard from the principal. But cause any trouble and you'll be expelled. Understand? At any rate, hurry up and go to the faculty office. I'm sure Ms. Kawakami's tired of waiting. Good luck trying to enjoy your new school life. The school turned into an old castle? A talking cat? Are you hallucinating from an overdose? I won't put up with you if you're simply joking around. I'm going to have you continue the story. The one who received a calling card from the Phantom Thieves was an Olympic medalist. An alumnus from Shujin Academy. The PE teacher Suguru Kamoshida. It's true that what he did were deplorable crimes from... indulging his desire. He confessed to it all. But there should have been no connection between the two of you since you had just transferred. Why did you target him? That's unacceptable. Try and recall it once again. So, after our explorations in the mysterious castle, we are now at the main hub area of Aoyama Ichome, um, or at least the school uh, in particular, it's here. And the school is really cool. Um, obviously, there's a large number of days in which we'll come to the school uh, to talk about, uh, you know, to just do school things, um, because you, you have to be a... You have to be um, a school kid in order to, you know, be a true anime protagonist in these sort of things. Um, but the reason I really like this is that there's lots and lots of little sub things going on. There are so many different conversations that you can overhear. You see, obviously, the little uh, speech bubbles popping up about the murmurings, um, which often relate to, you know, the direct things that are going on within the story. But there are lots of things that you can overhear being said between, you know, different people in school um, as well. And f keeping track of those is quite fun. Uh, it's, it's just a part of the game that I really enjoy. And so that's what I'm currently up to here, trying to find as many conversations as possible to listen in on uh, before heading up to, or before heading here to the faculty office. And I think we're about to hit the faculty office now because we can't uh, go any further. So I will talk to you when we're freed from all of the cutscenes.
Ugh, unbelievable. Being over half a day late on your first day? Can you explain yourself? Oh, it's lunchtime, you know. You would have gotten here sooner if you had walked from your place. It's true the train schedules have been a mess due to the accident, but you're still way too late. Will you pull yourself together? You were given fair warning yesterday. More importantly, I heard that you were caught along with that Sakamoto kun. <sighs> Don't get involved with him, okay? He's nothing but trouble. He wasn't like that when he was devoting his time to track and field, though. Anyway, break's almost over. Classes will end after fifth period today because of the subway accident. I'll have you introduce yourself when class resumes. Follow me. By the way, when you introduce yourself, be serious about it even if you're lying to the class, okay? Do not say anything unnecessary. You think that's him? Huh? The one in the rumors? Being super late on his first day? He really is insane. He looks normal, though. But he might slug us if we look him in the eye. <sighs> Settle down. Well, I'd like to introduce a transfer student. Today we had him from the afternoon on since he wasn't feeling well. All right, please say something to the class. He seems quiet, but I bet when he loses it, I mean, he was arrested for assault, right? Uh, so... Your seat will be... Hmm, over there, the one that's open. Sorry, but can the people nearby please share your textbooks with him for today? Ugh, this sucks. <sighs> Lies. Did you catch that? Do those two know each other? Ooh, does that mean he hit on her before transferring here? That means she's cheating on him with Mr. Kamoshida. Then again, this is Takamaki-san we're talking about. For real, that side of the room is totally awful. Oh right, the volleyball rallies in two days. Everyone's just changed classes, so make sure you use that time to get to know each other. Well then, let's get class started. Who's on duty today? Everyone, please rise. Hmm? What's wrong? Are you sure you're okay? Also, it seems like people are already talking about you, but I'm not the one who told them. I can't even catch a break. Why do I have to deal with this? You should head straight home without stopping by anywhere. Sakura-san sounded pretty angry. Oh, and about Sakamoto-kun, don't get involved. Speak of the devil. What do you want? I heard the police caught you cutting classes today. <sighs> it was nothing. And you haven't dyed your hair back to black, either. Sorry about that. I'll be waiting on the rooftop. <sighs> See? That's why I don't want you getting involved. Understood? you allow a student like him to transfer here? He's already started associating with Sakamoto. A student with a criminal record and the culprit of an assault case. At this rate, it'd be pointless how much I contribute to the school. Now don't be like that. This school counts on you, Kamoshiro-kun. You are our star. Still, a steady buildup is necessary behind such brilliance as well. Your troubles never seem to end, do they, Principal Kobayakawa? All right, I understand. 
I'll continue to do my best to answer your expectations of me. So there we have it, the sort of the school landscape is seen, we have a few more characters to think about. Um, the thing I didn't mention before is obviously, um, you know, characters such as Kawakami uh, and the principal Kabayakawa. We see more of Kamoshida um, and sort of how we can uh, potentially start thinking about him. Um, Again, there's lots of stuff, especially also in the classroom, there's mm -hmm. lots of uh, things that you can uh, listen in on um, and sort of hear what different students have to say. And I think um, we're going to be doing our best to find the you know, and you know, do as many of these, listen in to as many of these as possible. Um, and then you can pretty much tell who the major players of the game are, I always find, which is quite amusing just because they're the ones who aren't in the usual school uniform. Um, they're also the ones that you can't just walk through. Uh, anyone who comes up with a little um, character portrait whenever you talk to them, they're going to be a major, uh, or at least have some role to play in the story of the game going forwards, which is um, more than most of the sort of the nameless people who wander the school. After school hours as well, there's just so many people still in school uh, at this time. So there are lots of things that we can do here in terms of interacting with uh, different teaching rooms and stuff like that. But most of that will be done later on. Um, so I think what we can do about for the last little minute is obviously uh, Ryuji. So Ryuji uh, Sakamoto, he is uh, you know, the next major character who's um, been introduced. Uh, and we're going to be interacting a lot with him uh, and he is obviously also yeah, uh, a large chunk of the story revolves around him as well and so um, I really enjoy his character it's interesting to see how he develops throughout the game um, but yeah um, I think I don't know, it's somewhat of a, a blast of fresh air um, from a lot of sort of other types of things just sort of because he has such an attitude because he's you know willing to stand up for himself because he's got this sort of uh, incident riddled past um, and we learn a lot more about his past um, and stuff like that later on which I think is um, really well done but anyway I think that's going to be it for today so enjoy the rest of the cutscenes and I will see you on the next there you are Sorry for calling you up here like this. I bet Kawakami already told you stuff like, don't get involved with him, huh? <laughs> We're pretty much in the same boat. I heard you got a criminal record. Everyone's talking about it. No wonder you were so gutsy. What was all that that happened? You know, how we almost got killed at a castle. It wasn't a dream, right? You remember it too, yeah? Well, just because we both remember it doesn't mean much, though. I mean, even if it was a dream, you saved me from Kamoshida. So yeah, uh, thanks. That man, that Kamoshida we saw there. You probably don't know about it, but there are some rumors about him. You know, the guy you met at the school gates. The ripped one. That asshole who was all full of himself at the castle. No one says anything against him because he's some medalist who took the volleyball team to nationals. The way Kamashita was king of that castle felt crazy real because of that. I wonder if we can go back to that castle again. Ah, forget it. It must have all been a dream. It has to be. Sorry to drag you out here like this. That's all I had to say. You know, we might be pretty similar. I feel like we're gonna get along just fine as troublemakers. I'm Ryuji Sakamoto. I'll come talk if I see you around. Don't ignore me, alright? See ya.
Hey. About time you've come to! On your feet, inmate! Our master wishes to speak with you. It's for your own sake that you take his words to heart. First off, let us celebrate our reunion. Oh, you've awakened to your powers, and special ones at that. Your rehabilitation can finally begin. There is no need to understand it all for the time being. You will be training the power of Persona, which you have awakened to. Personas are, in other words, a mask, an armor of the heart when confronting worldly matters. I have high expectations for you. Do you really think you have a say in this? By the by, have you come to appreciate the Metaverse Navigator? Using it will allow you to come and go between reality and palaces. I bestowed it to you as a means to train you as a thief. The Metaverse Navigator is a gift from our master. You better take care in using it, inmate. Devote yourself to your training so that you can find thief. It must be disheartening to make use of the Metaverse Navigator alone. Should there be others who would prove beneficial to you, I will grant it to them as well. This is all for you to grow as a most excellent thief. <laughs> it's time. Go back and enjoy whatever rest you might have. 